Yeah, if it's only against them, I'll take it. Another chance to show the Ottomans up? Hell yeah. Okay, you guys, stop drilling. Time for you to start marching. And Navy, I need you guys to wake the hell up! It's time for war! Just need to make sure that they don't call them in. They are still allied with them. Right, we massively outnumber the, the Otter Bros here. And there have as yet been no battles. And that is the bulk of the... Oh, their army is not very well put together. Although, no, the Ottomans have Janissaries. So that could well be a whole bunch of Janissaries right there. Um, so I need to be careful that they don't just attack me. Although these two forts should block them. They did. Good. France is sending... Oh no, trade protection. Okay. I even need three armies at this point because my armies are so big. Let's try and get you guys out of where the attrition is. We're still making money, we still have manpower. Um, what type of terrain is this? Highlands. That is acceptable. I might actually just send you guys to go thundering through and just hit them. And then once we're locked in, we'll send in the reinforcements too. You're the 4254. Two, four, three, five. Yeah, you're the better one because you have the extra shock. All right, once you. Oh, they're running. Oh, we're still going to catch them though. You leave on the fifteenth. I arrive on the thirteenth. Yep, battle is on. Their reinforcements are coming in, but I have way more of them. <laughs> also, I needed to try and get that um, morale guy. Oh, we still can't afford him. He's expensive. He's Egyptian, he's not Syrian. That means I don't get the 25% bone uh, reduction. To the cost. We're both on tech 11, but I could theoretically go up to 12. Thankfully I do have another 30,000 men coming in, because we are losing this battle right now. Here we go. Massively outnumber them, they are on a minus 2. Uh, we have the same amount of discipline, they have almost one entire morale more than we do. Are they Janissaries? Yeah, they are Janissaries. So these are like their unique unit. Which they can hire. Which kind of function in a similar way to the... Ah, uh, what are they called? The Russian unique guys. Stratodoy? Something like that. Alright, so the first battle went to us. They did lose more than we did, which is good. Our general is definitely stronger than theirs. And recovers morale faster. Do we want to push the advantage? Bearing in mind that manpower is going to be a problem for us. Far more so than for them. Although, uh, that's not entirely true. I have very good professionalism, which I can just burn. I think that is a worthwhile cost. Plus, I could probably get it from the Amirs as well, because they freaking love us. I can. I think I'll keep the... I'll keep it for now. Streltsky! That's the one! Yeah. Um, do I want to push this advantage? I think I'm going to just sit back here and wait. We're going to try and bleed their armies as much as they can. We're just going to let the minions go and actually fight them for the moment. Well, let's go to the places which actually have forts behind my line so that hopefully we have decent supply limits. Uh, supply limits are all really quite low. Oh, that was a 32. You could go there and be mostly alright. I might actually need to split you into three armies. In fact, let's do that. Let's go half of you, half of you again. Here. Split. Half and half. Here. Alright. Right, that's... 
a kind of crap navy. Are you guys repaired? Close enough. I want an admiral. Good enough. Can we intercept this before they land? Where are they landing? Adana. We are adjacent to Adana. So once they're locked in, we're going to hit them in Adana. Come on, get locked in. Get locked in. Ah, my navy is about to arrive. In that case, we're probably just going to be able to smash them at sea. How many other ships do they have? Yeah, I outnumber them. They do have a couple more galleys, but I think we're going to be alright. Hey, Kazami Tempest. It is going well. And Trottling, hello. Alright, naval battle. I have way more galleys than they do. They do our... no, we outnumber them as well. They've got more morale. And they probably have more naval technology because I've not invested in that at all. No, they don't. And they have no national ideas that prove it either. Oh no, they have exploration ideas. Wait, they have exploration ideas? Huh. The Ottomans can into the New World, apparently. Hey, baby. Alright, you guys are just flooding out to go and take stuff. We are sinking their ships. They are sinking mine as well, but I think we are sinking them faster. They have no Admiral here, though. We do. So we should be doing significantly more damage. Bearing in mind, though, that our ships were damaged when we entered this battle. Uh, improved relations. We have completely improved relations with Venice. So hopefully that means that we are getting your institutions. We are! My cunning plan of improving relations with Venice so that Cyprus would spread institutions to us worked out rather well. So we should now get institution spread. Because we weren't going to get it from the Ottomans. They don't like us. All right, there goes their navy. Reinforcements are coming in. We sank 12 galleys. They only had 11. And we captured four. Oh, we captured four transports. Not that fussed about that. And then this is galleys and cogs. I think I want to hit them again just while we outnumber them so much. And you guys are suiciding, are suiciding into them. Uh, oh, you did manage to land. <laughs> I kind of helped them there. Should have let them land in a donna and then kick their ass. In person. Yeah, this was going to be a short battle just because we outnumbered them so significantly. Three ships captured. Oh, we got some light ships. Nice. Um, so with that, I think we basically just go and repair. We should have shipyards basically all along this coastline. So we're going to go and dock up over here. Serfs properly exploited. Our policy of serfdom has yielded results as our landowners have recently made extra special efforts to exploit their serfs. Marvellous. <laughs> Wound up reverting to the previous patch because mod someone actually made a merger to 1.22. I don't tend to play E4 with mods. I, I kind of just like the base game. Um, so, all of my armies are here concentrated where their kind of rubbish general is. We could exploit this state of affairs and bring another great victory. I mean, their main armies are up here and marching away. You know what? Let's do it. What terrain is this? Highlands. Oh, it's acceptable. Alright, here come the reinforcements. They've seen the danger. Decline of the merchant classes. They lose influence. That is totally fine by me. And we can then fight a scholar. The admin tech cost reduction, the aggressive expansion impact, which right now would be super helpful. Or just double down on Maliki because I just really like the development cost reduction. Especially because we're getting rather high in military. Um... I think I'm just going to go with the Maliki still. I just really like that development cost reduction. Oh, he ran. That's disappointing. 19th, 17th. Yes, we'll catch you this time. And what's this? Still Highlands. That is totally fine by me. 
Battle is joined, and we are doing, wow, a lot of damage. Why are we doing so much damage? I mean, awesome, but why? <laughs> because I'm surrounding them on the flanks. Yeah, we did. That was another good victory. I approve. And now their armies are over here, so I think we're going to turn around and march that way. The minions are all fighting over there, but while their army is so split up, we may as well exploit this fact. Oh, no, there comes their additional force. All right, they are actually going to be forming up over there. Um, what I meant was you go there, and you go there. And you need that third general, which is that guy. Whoops, no. Split, split. Small unit. One of your small units goes that way. And the rest of you go there. And that should mean that our three stacks should be more evenly sized and we will also take less attrition. We can always reduce professionalism again. Uh, Akanulu. Due to reaching maximum improvements. Okay. But considering I am defending your asses right now, you should absolutely adore me. It's just very unfortunate that you have more than 100 development. A thorn from a foreign land. Royal marriage with Mombasa. Nope. You have no general. Why not? Let's get you a general. Then as soon as that province falls, I think we'll just double time into them. Oh no, their entire army is here now. And this is... They'll probably attack me in Bozok, so I should probably go to Kirshia with this army once they've prepared themselves. So that we can reinforce in any direction that we need to. The city of Medina. As custodians of the holy mosques of Medina, we are responsible not only for the holy shrine, a state that claims this honour is also expected to fend for both the population of the holy cities as well as the pilgrims they att attract. For this purpose, many rulers have devoted great resources both within the cities themselves and large tracts of faraway farmland in order to feed and maintain the area. Some say Yusuf I has not been paying the attention to these cities they deserve, their pilgrims are no longer safe, and there is a great want in the streets of Medina. Uh, so we can lose 20% of our money for the next 15 years. We can lose stability. I hate this event. It's horrible. But actually, I have a feeling that this comes out really positive in the end as it, like, adds a bunch of free stuff. At least I think it did last time. You have split your armies. That seems silly to me. You are locked in. Let's go and make them pay for that foolishness. You're splitting your armies even further. What is sort of... Oh, it's Highlands. They do have a three-star general here. You've realised your mistake, but you're going to be way too late. 60,000 against 15. All right, their reinforcements have arrived, but we still outnumbered them two to one, but we are on a minus two. They ran again. They did a lot of damage to us, but we're killing their cavalry, and they're not killing mine very quickly. And my cavalry, of course, are absolutely elite. Um, but we're still losing. How are we losing? Attacker controls Urzum. So we need to take that back. Oh, that's easily done. So let's see what we can do about this area. I mean, this is a real pain to hold. Oh, especially if their troops are retreating that way. Hmm. Because it's so mountainous, these forts are dangerous. Mamluk succession. The death of Yusuf I has left our country without a ruler. All the important Mamluk households of the al Qara are calling upon their influence to have a say in the successor is going to be. So, our king has died, or our sultan has died, and we need to choose a new one. So we can go with the Hejazi Mamluks, which is a strong claim, 32-year-old. Egyptian Mamluks, average claim, 45, or the Bedouin candidate, very strong claim, 35. Or the best is a Circassian. Yeah, we're not doing the Circassian. Uh, who still has the highest percentage? Still Egyptian. I mean, Syrian is pretty close, but 
we are still very much an Egyptian Mamluk, so I think we're going to go with the Egyptian Mamluk. It does mean that our um, legitimacy will be fairly low, but legitimacy just doesn't matter so much. I, I, I do kind of wish legitimacy mattered more. Uh, you are terrible compared to your predecessor. But hey, we've had a long time of a really good leader, so I'm not that bothered. Also, I'm going to get rid of you because you're costing me an additional leader slot, which right now I don't need. Cities demand old rights. Urban dwellers have always existed under a different code of rules than their rural brethren, even the same state. Just as the monarch looks to curb the privileges of the nobles, they often tried to bring cities under more uniform rules and regulations. The cities often resisted these efforts. So they lose loyalty and we lose stability, or they gain loyalty, but we lose legitimacy. I'm going to take that one because I want the loyalty, which means that we're not suffering the development reduction anymore, which is awesome. And that means I can now do the development production. Now, is there anything else that I can do that reduces development costs? Not that I can think of offhand. Because I think we still have the one year cheaper development from having done that one. And that should still stick around even though he died. I would have thought. No, apparently not. Hmm, that's annoying. State edicts. Those are expensive though, and I can't really afford additional expense because I'm at war. Also, you need to go there. Um, ah, you're invading me. Oh, I, I sense opportunity, because that is just one more small section of your army again. Although I really do need to take Gozum. We're going to take Urzum first so that we have the ticking uh, war score on our side, and then we'll go and attack that stack. Um, right, what was I saying? Development. So what would the state edict cost? It is another 10%. I mean, some of these places already have it. It's just that we are then stuck with that edict for a year, and they get expensive quickly. No, I'm not going to do it, especially as I haven't been building courthouses or anything. So, let's go. Uh, it's mostly military that we want to cough up. Also, I should just go for one place really, really cheap and then beef that up so that we can start institution spread going. And a cotton province is the perfect place to do that. Where even is Hammer? There. Oh, that's a decent location. So how close are you to getting this stupid institution thing? You are miles away. And are getting swiftly more expensive. Um, no. I'm, I'm going to do it while it's still cheap everywhere else. You are a paper producer. Let's actually do it by this. So paper producers. And also the gems. I want the gems to get more valuable. Something like that. And then taxes. Apparently paper becomes super valuable later on. And manpower. It's actually quite a big improvement in development here. Still planning on eventually forming Egypt? Yes. At least that's the intention. Uh, I think that'll do for now. Pretty big improvement. Uh, what is my development at now? Just curious. <coughs> 678. And where am I in the Great Power Scale? I am fourth. Oh, the Ottomans overtook me. Interesting. They have embraced the next technology. I have not. Does that mean they've teched up militarily? No, and that would be dangerous if they did. So I need to be very aware of that. Um, let's have you come in this way. I'm changing my plans. Advisor cost reduction, 20%. Yes! 
So if we have an Egyptian in office, please be an Egyptian. You are an Egyptian, so you are now 55% cheaper. No, 45% cheaper. A level three for seven ducats a month. I love this form of government. It's amazing. And that gives me another 10% morale of armies. Yes, please. Hey, Lozman. Long time no see. How are the Mamluks coming along? They are good. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, no. Hold on. Wait until they get locked. And then we can go and smash them. We just took out one of their entire navies. Come on, get locked. There you are, locked. Attack. You are locked in. We're going to win that before they arrive. Uh, they still have the defensive bonus in mountains, unfortunately. But hey, I am going to say that's worth it. Tunis has joined the war. That's annoying. That is a fleet I could beat, though, if I was at full strength, which I'm not. So I'm not going to. All right, victory there. You're going to get smashed in. You're going to stay here, stay here. Ah, uh, hurry up. Yeah, might not win this one. Minus three. Yeah, not good. Sheikh al Islam, where the Quadis are the judges of the land, the Muftis are the ones to provide general legal interpretations and doctrine. A sultanate as large as ours, however, needs overarching authority over all the Muftis. So at this point, we need to choose whether we want to go legalism or mysticism. We are a wealthy state. We are kind of struggling militarily, though, so I think at this point we're actually going to go mysticism. So either we have one which just gives us national tax modifier or um, legitimacy. We are low legitimacy, so actually having a mystic would be quite strong. All right, let's do that. Are we going to win this? Unfortunately, their reinforcements are arriving, but they have a lot of artillery and they're all in the front line. We win. We won! Get in! Oh, wow, and we did a massive amount of damage, all things considered. Yes, we lost a big chunk of our cavalry, but oh, those will be Janissaries. Yes. We are now an inspirational leader. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. all right, their general ran away. And I'm going to go to Urzum and recuperate that way. Not all of you, though. I don't need suffering undue attrition. Uh, what are you fighting? I think that's just the one unit. Yes, it is. Good, because the rest of you are still retreating. That's fine. Just get me to safety. How much am I short? I think this is time for another professionalism drop. I love this mechanic. I love it. So you stay here in Erzin Khan, just in case they attack me here in Uzum, so that we can get the ticking time, uh, ticking war score on our side instead. Their armies are starting to... Mash up over there. How is their manpower doing? We have more than they do, and they are starting to hire mercenaries. That is good to see. Hey, 94th minute. Yeah, all things going well so far. I could get a new idea. Do I want to save that? I think I do. How are we doing for institution? Like, ah, good. So two places have actually got the institution now, so it's going to start spreading very, very quickly now. Have you really embraced it? Yeah, you have. That must have cost you a pretty penny. So, that said, how close am I to embracing? Ah, uh, close. Cost me a bunch, but I'm rich. Who cares? I'm rich! <laughs> Alright, Akinulu, we have got that. Which means that war score is now ticking in our favour. Why are we losing still-ish? Battles are in my favour. Oh, because the t ticking war score just hasn't been on our side yet. I need to be so much cautious about the fact that their fleets are so close together. They can reinforce each other. Though I could dash towards Alexandria and smash that navy. They have no galleys, so this would be a very smashable fleet. But I would need to be careful about how and when I did it. Maybe at the end of this month, we'll go and do some naval stuff. Yeah, let's. In fact, that's only five galleys, so it's unlikely that they'll try and reinforce. 
Ooh, Milan's fighting Venice. And actually managed to land Venice. What are you doing? Fat Venice. Do you still own Venice? Ah, that's what you're doing. You suck. Okay. Another big naval engagement. I mean, we've already shattered the Ottoman Navy. And this is us about to shatter Tunis. Oh yeah, we're demolishing them. As I kind of suspected we would. Dead, 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 dead. Wow, we're killing three at a time. We captured another four transports. Prestige from naval battles. Naval tradition from naval battles. We have a naval showman, eh? Interesting. And we would apparently arrive there on time. I think I might actually just grab you guys and just delete you. I don't use naval transports. I'll keep the uh, light ships, though. Ottomans managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> Uh, hi, you're fighting my minions. Do I care? Nope. We've taken a reason. They are coming over here. They're trying to retake these provinces. I am kind of okay with that. Uh, especially if your army is marching off that way. We can march off this way. And do this. Ooh. In fact, we can just do this. Do a quick shift consolidate here. Which is something I totally forgot to do previously, by the way, so we could have won that victory even more greatly. Another naval engagement. We outnumber them almost two for one. They have got five galleys. I have 20. And they are fully, like, tip-top new ones. War galleys. Not just galleys, but war galleys. Kind of curious what their ones are. They are using... Galleys. Oh, no wonder they're losing so hard. Their fleet's out of date. Are you all? Yeah, you are. You are still coming. Another great victory. Captured a ship. We're capturing a lot of boats here. Not that I necessarily want them, but cool. Um, and with that, I think we can quite safely go back to port and repair some more. So Silvas is highland, so at least it's not mountains. And we know that a third of their army is off doing whatever their army does. My reinforcements are coming in, and once again they run. And they were just on the outskirts of coming to support. So another great victory for the Mamluks. I have a lot of artillery, considering. Maybe it's time that we go and show the Tunis who's boss. Yeah, I'm aware that they've invaded. Where's my fort here? Yeah, Alexandria's the fort. Which I probably should have tried to upgrade at some point. Um, you know what? I think it is time that we go and show Tunis who's boss. So let's go ahead and drop our troops down there. Um, let's spread you out a little bit first. Because I don't want you taking attrition while we march. And this will also give you time to reinforce as we're marching down there. And Mamluks have not done anything against our forts in this region. So we should be okay. It's just a rhythm which is unfortunately... Not a fort territory, so the Mamluks can just waltz on in there and grab it, but it's fine. We can quite easily take it back again. Meanwhile... Oh yeah, colonialism is spreading fast. What spreads it? Nearby uh, province. Is that it? Oh, Port Capital has a New World Colonial Nation. Yeah, we don't have any of those, so it's going to be somewhat slower. That's fine. When is the next military idea available? Three years still. That's fine too. It's kind of unlikely that the Mamluks will have it during this... Oh, sorry, the Ottomans will get it in the time of this war. And if they do, I actually have quite a lot of military saved up because I didn't use it all. Profiteering in Emenek. The citizens of Amanek have grown tired of the local influence of greedy Ragusan merchants that they claim are using unfair advantages to outcompete local businesses. They demand that we step in to limit the influence of foreign traders on the area and reaffirm the privileges of our own merchants and artisans. So, ISIL, which actually I know exactly where that is. 